Okay, I'm going to take a look at an app called Quick Clocks, and this is by Shiny Things. And it's a really great app. And basically, when you come onto the home screen, you've got some options down the bottom, and then three exercises you can do find the clock, set the time, and question time. Let's just open these up before we go there. So if you click on the figure down here, you've got the person that you're signed in as. You can add more users by doing this and just creating them and giving them their own avatar. They would choose from these pictures for that. As you go, you can unlock more avatars. You can also look at statistics and see how well you're doing within the app. The lower the time, the better. You've got different levels, advanced, intermediate, and beginner. And let's go back out. Also down here, you can pull up other apps by the company uh, that you can look at. And then you can access those on iTunes. So how does this work? Let's go ahead and look at Find the Clock. And you've got three levels, Beginner, Intermediate and Advanced. And on Beginner, you have to get 10 correct. And the idea is simply to find the clock that says 4.30. And you do that by just touching them. And we'll just go through these. And then once you get uh, the 10 correct, you'll see... If you skip a question, uh, it'll go on to the next time. You can also obviously get it wrong. The idea is to do it as fast as you can. It took 33 seconds. We got one skip, which added time to the amount we took. So we got two stars out of three for that, so not bad. And you can see the time it took us to do that, and it'll keep track of all of those. You can play again or go to main menu. Now when you go back on that level and you go into the advanced, I'm not going to go through this, but I'm going to show you the difference in the page. So you've got a lot more clocks to choose from uh, on here um, when you go into the advanced section. Also, when you go into uh, the game, you'll notice that you can select from... 24-hour uh, time. Now you can turn that on or off in the settings uh, to go through that. Okay, um, let's go out into set the time. The idea here, set the clock to two o'clock and you simply drag the minute hand around until you get to that point. And again you've got to get to 10 of these correct. And you keep doing this until you've completed that. Now if I show you the advanced level on this, we go back out, it's quite different. So now you've got to rotate the hands until you get to the correct AM or PM time. So we're looking to set the clock for 3 PM. So you have to make this go all the way around past the AM hours until that turns to PM and you get to your 3 o'clock. So understanding AM and PM is very important obviously. Um, you can go back obviously and so on. Uh, different kind of question here. Set the clock to 7.45 Let's go back out of there and let's go into the advanced version of this one. You can actually touch these to change from AM to PM if it's easier for you. Now different type of questions. Set the clock to 10 minutes after 6.50 AM. So you can rotate this all the way around if you want. You can go to AM and then 10 minutes after 6.50 would be obviously 7 o'clock. So you can see it gets a little bit harder as you go through. And then it has questions like what time do you eat dinner? So you put in a time that I think most people would be around that time, and so on. So the question is a little bit different on that level. When you go into question time, um, I really like this level because you get to use a stylus or your finger. And what time is it on the clock? Well, it's 8.30, so let's write 8.30.
if you get it wrong, 10, so it's very, uh, very intuitive, it's really good the way that it recognizes your text, even as scribbly as mine is, and so on. Go back out and look at the advanced level on that one. So you get different types of questions. How many hours in two days? So what time will it be in one hour and 30 minutes? And so on. So it's a really good app. Um, very, very different to anything that is out there. And uh, Benjamin certainly has a lot of fun playing with it. And like I said, you can change the avatars and and uh, improve your times and look at the stats as you go along. So have a look, it's called Quick Clocks and it's by Shiny Things.